Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the skills the startups are looking for in a fresher. And what I've done is I've taken some of the important questions or some of the very interesting questions that generally student ask and that might help them in their future. And they generally ask these questions in social media websites. It can be Quora, it can be Facebook, it can be Twitter or a lot of different places where they ask these questions. And I've taken some of the good answers that are given by the people who are there and uh, which can help other students. So I'm discussing about all these things here. So this video is about what are the skills that startups are looking for in a fresher and it can be a technical startup or non-technical but I'm assuming that most of the times it is a technical startup so I'm going to discuss both technical as well as non-technical skills. Now if you wish to join in a startup now that is also a very good decision because the learning curve will be very good in terms of startups but in some of the startups it is very good and some of the startups you may find that it is not there that, that much good. So, what are the skills that startups are looking for in a fresher? So, we're discussing about the non-technical skills here. So, first of all, you should have fire in the belly. That means there are two types of people. Number one, who want to settle down with a job that can be a comfortable job. They want to just go for a 9 to 5 job and they don't want to take risks. And they just want their life. They just want to enjoy their life to the fullest. But the other want to uh, category of the people who want to take risk, who want to make difference and who want to go ahead in their career, who want to do something big. Generally, those kind of people start startups or those kind of people join startups. So even if, for example, in your future, if you want to have, if you have any plans of creating your own company, if you have any plans to join, create your own startups, then you can obviously uh, take risk and you can obviously join a different startup to learn their learning curves and how they're progressing, how they're creating things and building things and so on. Now, the startups are mostly most of the time startups are eagerly looking for candidates who belongs to this category of people who are ready to take risk and who are you know who are knowledgeable people who know how to turn any idea into a product that they can sell to the people and to the market. Now, if you have that fire in the belly to impress these people, if you have that fire in the belly that you want to take risk and you want to do some do something good and you want to make a difference, then obviously you can join a startup. Then it is a very good career opportunity for you now second is the people in the startups they are looking for some sense of responsibilities uh, we will not be having any people who track and monitor your progress but rather they will give you projects and they want you to be a leader and they want you to finish those projects on time they want you to get out of your, out of your comfort zone and make things happen so startups are thus looking for employees who can take the ownership of the projects and finish them without any kind of supervisions. Secondly, you should have an ability of, to learn because generally uh, in big companies they can afford training people, they can afford to hire someone and train them for 3 months or 6 months or 1 year so that they can work on their technologies for later uh, 1 or 2 years. But in case of startups they have very limited resources, they have very limited funds. So what they want is they want people to be already learned and secondly even if they're not that much learned if you, even if you're a trainee then you should be able to learn by yourself self-learning is very much important so startups are generally working on some different ideas everyone which can be a senior or junior needs to figure out how to convert those ideas into applications or processes or how to get things done based on those ideas so you should be able to learn at a jet speed and you should know how to you know for example let us say you want to learn a certain technology tomorrow. If it's a demand that today you're working in C language or C++ and tomorrow it's a demand that you have to work on Python. Then obviously you should be able to learn at a jet speed. You should be able to finish it, learn it as quickly as possible so that you can implement. Obviously as soon as you can implement, you can save the money of the employer. Then you should be able to think beyond 9 to 6 jobs because startups are not about 9 to 6 jobs. You have to work around the clock. I remember when I started my company, I was working 15 to 16 hours a day. I started working at 4 a.m. in the morning till uh, 11 or 12 in the night. And it used to go on like this for months and months so that we can build something which is really amazing, which is truly great. So if you are in a startup, never think about that you are just going, your job is just for between 9 to 6. Your job can be bigger than 9 to 6. It's mostly about what is the project that you have in your hand. You have to finish that project and you have to finish that work so that you can take rest later on. And learning and experimenting is really very important because no one is going to there, no one will be there to teach you, but rather you have to learn by on your, learn on your own. 
so in the indian in the education system generally this is a tradition that people uh, some people teach and other people listen for example teacher is the one who teaches and you learn and you listen you listen and learn but in case of startups this habit is not going to work because you have to be self dependent you have to learn by yourself so you should be able to go online for example let us say let us suppose you are having some problems and uh, it can be any programming problem non programming problem you should be able to go online you should be able to search the solutions of those problems you should be able to learn those solutions by yourself online or offline or anywhere you like and then you should be able to deliver the project okay so it's not about that other person is going to teach you or you are going to learn from him but rather you have to learn by yourself and you should learn more about your domain for example if there is a startup on education then you should be able to do constant research on education what's new is going on what's trending what is beneficial for you what can be beneficial for the company as well as if it is startup related to let us suppose online product selling or e-commerce products then you should have that kind of uh, you know interest that you go online you search everything about that particular domain you should be able to follow the latest trends technologies and news that are out there so that you can find something which can be beneficial to the company or to you with yourself also so what traditional big companies give you detailed specifications to the code they also give you guidelines and how to code what to code where, where to code right but in case of startups you will not find anyone who is going giving you guidelines who is you will not find anyone who is giving you detailed specifications so they'll give you a project they'll give you some problem and you need to have an habit to learn the domain as soon as possible so that you can deliver the work as soon as possible apart of this you can mostly get a sense of urgency for every work that is given it is not a project manager will plan and give you time with buffer what happens generally is that someone uh, is giving you a project and they have given you a timeline or deadline to finish the project but generally it is uh, in case of startup the environment is always changing the environment is always moving very very fast right in matter of days things are changing matter of weeks matter of days matter of hours things are changing so you should be able to adapt to those things and you should be able to deliver according to those changes so it's not a very uh, you know subtle and slow kind of job this in case of startups things are going to be very urgent so most of the times you need to adapt those changes as well as at the same time you need to have uh, urgency about finishing the project so that you can also adapt those changes or ensure so that you can deliver according to to decisions so fast decision making is also required and secondly is you should have an ability to stay longer in the company so generally what happens is that in case of startups uh, the work environment is very you know uh, it's it's you need to be emotionally strong it's uh, it's not that easy um, uh, for example if you go to some government jobs then you find a very very easy work environment where people are slow people are working according to their own speed but in case of star- startups it's very hectic you have to adapt as much as possible and accordingly you can grow right so according some people can take this pressure some people may not may not be able to take that pressure but if you can stay longer in the company obviously you can grow accord with the company so in real startups every day is like an exam day where everyone is busy and trying to cover the syllabus overnight at the same time you do not know how many months the sense of urgency continues so you can have to you should be able to take those pressure and you should be able to deliver between those pressures as well as you should be able to stay uh, in that way and last but not the least the leadership quality is the most important thing that you can look in a startup so startups do not look for the people who are just employees they are looking for the people who are the leaders who can get the things done who can take responsibilities who can uh, get the things done if by other employees or even not other employees and they can do the things by themselves so leadership are leaders are the one who can drive the entire industry who are driving the entire industry right now so it is one of the most important thing that i w- i will look for a people for example if i'm having a startup then this is the most important thing that i'll be looking for people uh, looking in the people that they have this kind of quality so that i can give them some projects i can give them some responsibilities and they should be able to take that project and deliver the work on time so leadership quality is one of the most important thing that person is looking in a startup okay so if you have any other suggestions 
or if you have any feedbacks or experiences that you want to share with the freshers or people students here then you can just comment those experiences and feedback in the comment section so that other people can get benefited from this okay and thank you for watching let me move on to the next section where i'm going to discuss about the non technical um, qualities that sorry technical qualities that startups are looking